You know how to do it. Oh, no, just, yeah. just go ahead. Now? Yeah. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Gary, and this is Ghost Chasers. Uh, right now, tonight, we're appearing at the Lizard Board and Bed and Breakfast for a, an initial investigation and a celebration of my first paranormal investigation here back in of March 10, 2006. Uh, we, uh, we're going to investigate this place and again, once again, try to find more answers to a lot of questions. Uh, right now, tonight, uh, I got a whole full crew. Uh, I got team members here for my new team and I, uh, we, we brought all kinds of equipment. Um, the story about this place, as we all know, is... The story goes back to when they said that Lizzie Borden took an axe, gave her, gave her mother 40 wax, which she thought when she was done. She gave her father 41. Well, that's actually not true either. Actually, I think it was much lower than that. This is a replica of the actual axe. A replica of the axe. Actually, it wasn't even an axe. It was a uh, hatchet. Just a hatchet like this. Would use uh, slaughter, Abby and Andrew Borden. So, uh, so we're gonna have a good time tonight. Find some answers. If we can't find answers, at least, you know, it would still be a mystery, right? And um, a lot of other people have been here too. Uh, I'm not the only team. This again, this is, was. This is the site of my very first investigation with Annex Paranormal. Now, with Ghost Chasers, Paranormal Research Society. And this is our ghost adventures. And as we say, ask me about Fall River. All right, that's good. Big Gary. And uh, I'm gonna be- uh, Sorry, Gary, hold on. Okay. Do that again. Uh, we know. John, are you getting this too? Yeah. Now? Uh, you good? Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, we didn't catch anything in the boarding bedroom either. Um, we haven't gotten anything so far in the, um, the John Moss room. Uh, we uh, got the rev pod set up in here, so later on tonight, I'm going to take the rev pod, bring it down to the living room, and see if we can catch something there. But when we return from our break, we're going to do the third floor, work our way down to the first floor, to the basement. And then we should be all set. And, well, time for a break. Just because we didn't catch nothing doesn't mean that nothing isn't here. It right. perhaps doesn't want to communicate to them. Their cars because there are these neighbors here with other people. Or maybe they just should look at something else. Yeah, that's just a problem. It can sometimes be a waiting game. Wait and wait and wait, and sometimes you either catch something or you catch nothing. It's uh, it's the nature of the uh, field. So. All right, so we're off. This is the murder room. What happened here was Abby Borden was found dead right there, and her head was smashed. Unrecognizable. What I'm gonna do. Gary, let me stop you right there. I'm getting the energy from the K2. I know you're here because your energy's here. Make this light up for me. Abby, who murdered you, Abby? Who done this to you? Tell me now, Abby. The world wants to know who murdered you and your husband, Andrew. Who did this to you? I'm gonna get the uh, ghost box, Abby. Cause Lizzie keeps shutting it off on me cause she doesn't want me to know what happened to you and Andrew. Abby, could you tell me who murdered you and Andrew? Andrew, is that you? me. Who murdered you in Abbey? Who? The world wants to know. Abby Borden, I'm speaking to you right now. Who murdered you? Who murdered you and Andrew? Could you tell me the name? I know you're here because the K2 meter lit up. Who did this to you? Who murdered you? I'm talking to you now, Abby. I want an answer. So we can help you put this to rest. All I'm getting is radio signals. I want to speak to Abby. Abby Borden. Please speak to me now, Abby. All right? Yeah, okay. Who did it to you? Who murdered you? Can you tell me? 
Well, I want an answer. Lizzie says she didn't do it. She was acquitted. She was acquitted for your, you and your husband's murder. Did you know that? They never, they, they never found out who murdered you two. Who murdered you and your husband? Who did it? You know, Abby. You saw the, you saw the person who murdered you. You saw that person come at you with an axe and bash you in the head 19 times. I want to know who did it. Who murdered you, Abby? She? Who's she? Who is she? Who are you talking about? Who murdered you? Who murdered you, Abby? If you want people to stop coming to your grave and bothering you, you we gotta solve the mystery. Now who murdered you? Are you going to tell me? She's screaming at me now. Well, you're, being, you're being pretty demanding. Yeah, you have to be. <laughs> Elizabeth? Did you just say Elizabeth? Lizzie murdered you? Did Lizzie murder you? Did Lizzie murder you? Well, guess what? We're gonna be going to your house and we're gonna try to get some answers from you there. I'm gonna talk to your husband, Andrew, and then I'll leave. Andrew's the most aggressive one out of the bunch I heard. Lizzie, we're gonna find out Andrew, do you know who murdered you and uh, you and your wife? Andrew, I haven't got all day. I gotta use I gotta use the outhouse, so you better tell me soon. Who murdered you? Who? Why am I getting other people? Who murdered you, Andy? Andrew Borden. I want to speak to Andrew Jackson Borden. I already spoke to Andrew over there. Abby, are you going to tell me who did this? All right, guess what? I'm not playing games anymore. Your husband wouldn't tell me nothing, neither will you. So guess what? You gonna tell me before I leave? I need to solve this mystery. Who murdered you? You're calm. I know you're calm, but who murdered you? You don't want to talk? Okay, fine. You don't want to talk to me? Guess what? I'm out of here. I'll see you at your house. Thank you. Goodbye, everybody. Whew. That was something. Guess some response, though. The K2 meter was going nuts. It's still going crazy. Oh, no. I had it. I had it, oh no, no, it's off now, I shut it off. It was going nuts. So it goes to show there's something going on here. Best time to go is at nighttime, because at nighttime, 
It's their daytime. Right now it's their nighttime. It's the opposite of, of us. Our days are their nights. And their nights are our days. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty good at this stuff, huh? <laughs> yeah, you got some answers. <laughs> I've been doing it long enough. <laughs> you have to be progressive with them once you're not going to get a response. You just keep playing around with you. If they, once they know you know business, you mean business, they'll uh, start responding a lot quicker. But today is like nighttime for them, so they don't want to be bothered at them in the daytime too much. I did get a response though. You see the K2 meter, right? You see the lights go off it like crazy. Oh, I gotta use the bathroom so bad, man. It ain't funny. Oh, man. Oh, wrong one. Still recording me. <laughs> well, I'm aiming to be back at the house at three. So we're, we're just leaving Oak Grove now. We're gonna drop Gary up and we'll be there. Yeah, Gary's gotta pee. <laughs> It's easier in the night in the nighttime, but not in the daytime. Go to the bathroom. <laughs> 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 